freedom, personal freedom, is fundamental to who we are as Americans. There's nothing more important, nothing more sacred. That's been the work of my first term, to fight for our democracy. This shouldn't be a red or blue issue. To protect our rights, to make sure that everyone in this country is treated equally and that everyone is given a fair shot at making it. But you know, around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up to take on those bedrock freedoms. Cutting Social Security that you've paid for your entire life while cutting taxes for the very wealthy. Dictating what healthcare decisions women can make. Banning books and telling people who they can love. All while making it more difficult for you to be able to vote. When I ran for president four years ago, I said we we're in a battle for the soul of America, and we still are. The question we're facing is whether in the years ahead, we have more freedom or less freedom, more rights or fewer. I know what I want the answer to be, and I think you do too. This is not a time to be complacent. That's why I'm running for re-election. Because I know America. I know we're good and decent people. I know we're still a country that believes in honesty and respect and treating each other with dignity. That we're a nation where we give hate no safe harbor. We believe that everyone is equal, that everyone should be given a fair shot to succeed in this country. Thank you for choosing Thank us. You. Well, every generation of Americans has faced a moment when they have to defend democracy. Stand up for our personal freedom. Stand up for the right to vote and our civil rights. And this is our moment. We, the people, will not decide. God love you. So if you're with me, go to JoeBiden.com and sign up. Let's finish this job. I know we can. Because this is the United States of America. There's nothing, simply nothing we cannot do if we do it together.